So in this session, we will assemble the components of butterfly wall assembly. And after that, the assembly will look like this. In the previous session, we have drawn all the components of this assembly. So I recommend you before watching this session, go through the session one on butterfly wall assembly. Okay. So let us do the assembly. Start. I will go to mechanical design and then instead of part design, now I will select assembly design. Okay. The name of your assembly will appear in the model tree as its title. Here it is product one. Okay. So I will change this okay. name to butterfly ball assembly. Butterfly assembly. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now we will import the components one by one and go on assembling them. So for that, I will click on the title in the model tree. Then I will select the tool existing component, which is there in product structure tools. I will browse to my folder where all the components of this assembly are saved. First of all, let us import the body. So I will select the body from that folder and click open. So my body is now in the assembly environment. So after importing the first component, we have to fix it with respect to the assembly or coordinate system. So I will select that body and use fix component tool in constraint toolbar in order to restrict all of its degrees of freedom. So the constraint is applied, you can see here. Now let us take the degree of freedom of this part, go to the model T, right click and check component degrees of freedom. The message says there is no degree of freedom, body 1 is fixed in the context of butterfly assembly. Okay, then that means we are right. Let me hide these two planes, I will select these two planes, go to the model tree, okay, you can hide them, hide them from here also, okay, right click and hide these two planes, we don't require them in assembly. Now, I will go to the title of the model tree, click there, click on existing components, it will open the folder by default. Now next I will import the shaft, so here is my shaft, go to the manipulation tool in move toolbar, select one of the axis and slide the toolbar or slide the shaft at the convenient position, okay, then go to the constraint toolbar, select the tool coincident, select the axis of the shaft, then I will select the axis of this hole. And then I will update the constraint. Next, I will make use of contact constraint. So select the contact constraint, select this space, and I'll repeat it. Okay. Contact constraint. I want this surface to be in contact with this. Problem. So let us update this coincident constraint and contact. I want to make contact of this surface with this. And now update. So I have assembled the shaft into this. Let us check the degree of freedom of the shaft. I will click on shaft, right click, shaft on object, component degrees of freedom. That is showing that it has only one degree of freedom that is of rotation about the x axis, and that is okay. We want that. We want our shaft to rotate about x-axis. Let us check. Invoke the manipulation tool from the move toolbar. Select with respect to constraint and rotate this. Okay. It will only rotate about x-axis. Correct. So it is rotating about x-axis only. So I will rotate this. I have rotated. Remember, it will only rotate about x axis only because we have selected this with respect to constraint. So, here we go again 
click on the title of the assembly click existing component now we will import the plate okay choose manipulation in x direction so this is my plate okay align select the axis of one of the holes of this plate okay let us rotate that somewhat so that we can catch up that circular portion so this is axis of this hole and this is axis of that hole now again a line constant we'll make a line the axis of second hole okay this one is the axis of that second hole on this shaft okay. next we'll add one more constraint that is contact constraint this surface with this and now let's update these three constraints okay okay i'm done let's check the dimensions of the shaft okay sketch I want the dimensions of that hole. Both the holes must be of same width. Let us edit the component shaft. Diameter is 12.5, correct. And now let us check this plate. Radius is 12.5, so we went wrong here. So let us change this value to diameter 12.5. Okay. Okay. So now we have done the corrections. Now let us check the degree of freedom of this plate. Go to the plate, right click, plate one object. So let us first of all activate the assembly, plate, right click, plate one object and component degrees of freedom. It is showing that the plate is having only one degree of freedom that is of rotation about x axis, which is shown here and that's okay. We want that plate to rotate with shaft so that the valve can be closed and open. And next, we'll fix that plate to the shaft using screw. So, assembly, existing component, and that screw is my screw 22. Manipulation, take out that screw. Okay, now I'll rotate that screw. Okay, it's okay. Let us constrain that screw, align this axis with this and one more constraint I will use that is of contact. Contact this surface, let's contact this surface with this and update the constraint, look at the assembly, okay. Now I want the same screw in this hole. So I will not import it again. I will select that screw. Okay. Go to the <coughs> mirror tool in assembly features or symmetry tool and select the plane of symmetry and finish. Okay. Close. So I have placed both the screws in their place. The next, we will import the retainer, which will fix here. Which so, assembly, existing component, now retainer. Okay. Manipulation in this direction, so it is rotating. I will change to x direction. Okay. Now align this axis with this. 
next align axis of so this hole with this hole and then third constraint of contact this surface with this one and update okay so now it will have zero degrees of constraint let us check retainer right click object component degrees of freedom okay. there is no degree of freedom because we do not expect that retainer to rotate with the shaft like it's okay now next we will insert the screws in this retainer to fix it with the body so assembly existing component screw manipulation move that screw here I will rotate this screw K will rotate about x axis let us apply the constraint of coincidence okay coincidence axis of this screw with the axis of this hole and then contact this surface with that on the screw and update okay we are there let us check the degrees of freedom of the screw so right click on the screw screw object component degrees of freedom it is saying it has one degree of freedom rotation about x axis yes that is required to tighten the screw so we are correct now we can import the screw two more times and assemble here by giving the constraint but i am not going to do that i will make use of this command reuse pattern okay which pattern this pattern okay with this component okay, okay i have not selected the pattern to close it i will again use this so reuse pattern for this component okay done so we have assembled all the things now we will import arm so click on butterfly assembly existing component and arm okay manipulate it in x direction okay so x direction so it comes out from the center apply the constraint of coincidence this axis will go into this and the constraint of contact of this surface with this and update so here we go we have completed the assembly let us check the degree of freedom of this arm it must have only one rotation about x axis so we are correct now let us hide all these planes okay and constraints we select all the constraints the symbols will be hidden sheet five six seven eight nine ten let us hide this hide okay sufficient now we can hide the planes also so i will select the body one two three hide now we select the shaft. One, two, three. Hide. Let us hide these screws. One, two, three. Hide. Three screws. Okay, these are already hidden for arm. X five, Y Z Z X. Hide. Now this screw hidden. This is X bar plane hide. Okay, and this screw X bar by Z Z X hide plate X bar by Z Z X hide. 
what is remaining symmetry of screw x5 i go zx i so one more is there i think that is of retainer yes y y go zx so i one more is of arm so I have hidden all the planes and some of the constraint symbols. So this is my butterfly valve assembly. Let us check it in isometric view. Okay. Thank you. I have one more component that is nut. So I will click here existing component and import the nut in the assembly. Okay, use manipulation to move the nut. I will take it here, then I will rotate it about the x axis. Okay, then we will apply the coincident constraint 